Hello and welcome back to Grotic Gaming. Uh, today we are carrying on. Uh, this wasn't going to happen because of the launch of Crystal Isles, but due to the fact that it's been postponed, uh, we are going to carry on with our playthrough. Now I'm gonna try and get a Batyrdon tamed as soon as possible so while I look for that I quickly want to talk to you guys about something uh, sometimes I have this whole conversation inside my own mind and I end up not explaining stuff properly or uh, with a lot of la uh, less information that I should actually put into it uh, due to the fact that I thought I actually discussed it but it's actually just in my mind so if at any point in time you come across something that I skim over or that you feel I just <laughs> didn't explain well enough uh, send me a comment, uh, tell me, listen, could you elaborate on it, or just uh, call me out on the fact that I just do the conversation in my mind and not with you guys, uh, so that I can just explain some stuff better, because um, I got some feedback from a friend uh, asking me why I prefer to take the Moss chops as an early tame rather than the parasaur. Um, for you guys that actually don't know uh, what the parasaur is, I'm going to show you guys in a few seconds. I uh, just need to get some weight off this guy. Um, so, everybody knows the most jobs now. So, the thing about the most jobs that's better than the parasaur is, of course, the fact that it can swim faster than the um, parasaur. Upgrading its speed also makes it faster. Uh, it does gather the same things in regards to thatch and wood and berries, but the moss jobs can actually also gather fish and fish meat, ah, uh, raw meat and fish meat. So that in itself is making it a better harvesting diner for starting because you don't have to struggle. You see, they just got hidden meat, uh, just like that, and um, it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're in early game, it actually helps a lot to be able to gather hide and meat at a better rate than normal. Uh, let's say with a pickaxe, because you're going to have a stone pickaxe and stuff. Uh, where this thing definitely harvests a lot better. Uh, also, when I say early game taming, I don't mean at this point where I am now. Because I'm already at a point where I can do a lot of stuff like tame raptors and stuff, which puts me at a place where it's not the start of the game anymore. Um, but this guy you can tame from level 1 because it's a passive tame and it's easy, quick and if it doesn't ask for something ridiculous like uh, honey or anything you can probably tame it in a few seconds uh, rather than trying to knock a parasaur out and feeding it narco berries, feeding it magi berries and hopefully no, nothing aggro's on the sleeping dino, which makes it a lot 
more difficult to um, tame something than just doing a passive tame and getting it done. Especially on official servers and stuff where the rates aren't boosted, uh, it's not going to take just a few Majos to get these or the Parasaurs tamed up and having to wait for a Dino that's sleeping on the ground and harvesting a crap ton of ma uh, Narco Berries to keep it knocked out. It's it just it stacks up and it takes long and it just yeah you, you won't be able to do it on level 1 where this guy you will definitely be able to get a low level 1 on level 1 very easily. Uh, it runs faster, it's got more stamina than your character uh, you don't have to waste points in pumping that into your character's uh, stamina you can just punch it into this one it's got more weight than you it's just all around it's it's just much better to have this dino than to go without it so hopefully that explains a little bit about the harvesting aspect and also you're going to need these guys in the later game because they actually are one of the easier diners to tame for a certain kibble. So having one male and ten females will also ensure that you've got a ample supply of eggs to be able to create kibble with. Uh, which we will do later definitely and so basically I'm starting my kibble farm even from level 1 by just taming this guy and um, if it dies it dies if it doesn't then I've got a very nice start to my kibble farm because we don't need a massive level moss jobs just to get eggs done we can just basically use the lower level ones so <coughs> the moss chops is definitely a much better time in that regards um, the parasol also runs away from you when you try and knock it out so at a point of making a bowler uh, you can't make a bowler from level one I think it's uh, locked to level 8 or something. Uh, let's see quickly. Level 9. So you can only start taming parasaurs from level 9. And then if you look at the level requirements of the saddle, it's also level 9. So that makes it you can only tame a dino at level 9 minimum to be able to harvest and stuff. Where like I said, the moss chops you can take it from level one, and if you are lucky and you get something that asks for tento berries or majo berries, it's going to be quick and you're done. So uh, keep that in mind when you uh, tame these guys. It's it's a low level tame. It doesn't take long. It's not. A knockout time so you're not going to run after it the whole time trying to punch it with your fists and stuff like that you just feed it and it's done um, so it's definitely something to look at and the harvesting of course uh, the fact that it can harvest the meat and hide where the parasol can't do that uh, that's also a very good situation to be in so with that said, um, please just note that I do sometimes just like forget to uh, tell everybody <laughs> what my thought process is and it helps me a lot if you guys can uh, just basically get into com the comments and um, just let me know, listen, you skimmed over this, but it's actually an important fact. Uh, could you give us some more information? Because uh, at the end of the day, the, the more I can explain something that doesn't make sense, the, the better we will understand it. And if you don't agree with it, let me know. And then we'll discuss it and 
see what's going on because the thing is you don't get a a person that is like a hundred percent a boss of arc it doesn't happen arc has so many facets it's got so many updates that changes mechanics its mechanics in any way is like crazy so you'll never be able to say I know a hundred percent of every information that's out there about the arc it just doesn't work that way so even with that um, there's no way that I'll be able to tell you guys listen I know for a fact that this is the way to do it this is the best way it just doesn't happen it's it's not the correct analogy in doing that because it's it's impossible it's just seriously impossible to do that um, so yeah um, I also learn a lot of new things every day about ARK uh, when I play the game and it's just one of those things you learn something new every day now I'm just killing a few tortoises to get some chitting to make the um, saddle for the pterodon so just bear with me a few seconds so that I can get that done uh, anyway so there in the distance you can see two parasols the red one and the green one uh, it basically works like a horse um, some people also call it the horse of arc because uh, it does have a lot of stamina so you're not really going to run out of stamina soon it's definitely crazy in that regard um, and the weight is also quite nice uh, but like I said it's not going to outrun a raptor and it's definitely not going to outrun a carno and stuff like that so <coughs> I just really need to get these guys to stop fighting me. So it's it's interesting. I'm gonna have to stop. So it's an interesting concept to say uh, in the least, but yeah, there's just so much more you can do with the moss chops at level 1 to 9 uh, I mean you can probably get a parasol at level 9 and be ready for it it just doesn't make sense to me to get a parasol if you already have a low level uh, moss chops because past that the further you go you're probably gonna just get a trike uh, because they are definitely a lot better at harvesting stuff or you're probably gonna get a Bronta so getting a parasol and a moss chops is quite the same tier uh, harvesting dino if I can put it that way um, so technically it just doesn't make sense to me to have it that way um, but yeah you can probably do that and it should still be fine um, but yeah so yeah I just wanted to clear that up and make sure everybody understands so if it's still unclear uh, let me know um, but yeah for now that should work so also another thing is the brightness so I'm gonna try and remember to gamma it up like this to make sure that you guys can see uh, I'll also try and uh, increase the brightness in post processing and hopefully that works to a point where we can actually see something um, 
it's just sometimes I even forget to uh, lower the gamma when uh, it becomes day again and then it becomes too bright but we'll see how it works out so now that we've got a flying dino um, I'm probably just gonna go get some crystal quickly uh, not for cryopods at the moment but just for the awesome spyglass so that we can start looking at levels uh, of the dinos and stuff um, I forgot that the pterodons have horrendous stamina when they are low level so we're probably gonna have to like up and down and up and down and up and down the whole time anyway so I would love to get myself a tapachara but uh, that thing's a little bit fast and if you don't have uh, drank arrows of a narcotic drank darts uh, <laughs> just ends up dying with the arrows oh goodness no uh. oh god I'm dead Hopefully it can't get back up here Because one thing uh, that kills you quite quickly is Trudons They are vicious little buggers if it's at night time So like these two with the yellow eyes uh, They <laughs> are not a joke at all so I want to see if I can actually aggro them to fall off the cliff I could also oh that was the wrong button I wanted to pick it up I didn't want to barrel roll it God. Ow. Right, that one's down. There's one left. Uh, so hopefully I can get that one as well. Uh, so, flyers have the ability to pick up dinos, certain dinos. Um, it's usually a size thing. So, pterodons can pick up trudons and stuff like dillos, uh, ov raptors, stuff like that and the bigger the flyer the more it can pick up um, there are certain dinos that you actually stop it uh, that you can't pick up um, which is saki because they are actually sometimes smaller than the other dinos but for some odd reason they are just like bugged out to a point where nobody can no nothing can pick it up so uh, like you can see this thing's weight is also pretty ridiculous so we are slowed down so much uh, hopefully we can make it back to the base it's usually a better idea to find a rock and land on that regain your stamina and carry on um, this is not the highest rock but it would reduce the amount of uh, stuff like raptors and dillos getting to me also usually makes it easy to spot something that is intentionally coming your way trying to eat your face um, so yeah rocks are a very good place to stop and rest probably a reason why normal real life birds use those 
also another thing that I want to do is I want to put the videos in a much easier more manageable uh, chunks so I'm probably gonna have most of my videos going to 20 or 30 minutes meaning that um, it's not gonna be as long as the previous one um, but yes I'm probably gonna uh, release a few more videos uh, very more recently uh, but we'll just see I don't have any schedule at the moment or schedule planned at the moment uh, so <laughs> yeah it's quite sporadic at the moment what I record and, uh, well when I record not what I record I know exactly what I want to record I really want to get a body beam gone thought that it would actually like despawn eventually but apparently not um, oh god you see and that's why I didn't want to do that so why doesn't it despawn it's supposed to despawn well I'm not gonna go back there those piranhas are out for me anyway we've got a little bit of crystal at least uh, we're probably gonna end up leveling this guy a few times and wait just to be able to handle me and a few a little bit of weight and uh, we're definitely gonna craft a awesome spyglass so that we can start talking about levels points into dinos and all of those things that is also actually necessary to be able to um, understand the breeding part of the game that which is also going to come later so but I think for now uh, I'm gonna say thanks for watching and enjoy your day